For the first time ever in the Civilization franchise, we have Australia, and they are an extremely versatile Civ. So John Curtin, Australia's 14th Prime Minister, will lead the Civilization for the first time, and I have to say, this is one of the best looking designed leaders in Civilization 6. I mean, this, this dude looks great. So let's talk about his leader ability, because it's kind of different, very, very different, to say the least. Uh, it is called the Citadel of Civilization, and it grants Australia bonus production at the start of a defensive war, and whenever it liberates a city. This is interesting to me, because I, I can't really control that aspect, not that much. Uh, as a player, the best I can do to get another Civ to declare war on me, at least in just a single player game, is not to build a military at all. Uh, that's the best way I could probably bait the AI in. Uh, but what if I already have a military? Would this production really be that much of a bonus? I'm assuming it's got to be a pretty big value here uh, because that's a, that's a big deal. It's not easy to get an AI to declare war on you sometimes. Their special ability, naturally called Land Down Under, uh, allows their cities to get extra housing when built on coastal tiles, and campuses, commercial hubs, holy sites, and theater squares get additional yield when built on tiles with charming or breathtaking appeal. I think this is a really smart design by the developers, since we've never had a sieve that really specializes looking at this aspect of the game, uh, I, I think that it will definitely, obviously, offer a very unique playing experience. Their unique unit, the Digger, replaces infantry, and they get bonus combat strength when fighting outside of friendly territory or on land tiles adjacent to water. This should work in an interesting combination with the leader ability, since you're trying to be in this defensive position and draw other civs to declare war on you. Uh, the Digger will give you combat strength when you know fighting along the coastal tiles, which I'm, I'm assuming Australia will probably get some sort of start bias uh, next to the coastline. But then if you turn the tide, and you start maybe, you know, you at, at first you're in a defensive position, but then you maybe start going in to their own territory. Since these diggers get extra combat strength when fighting outside of friendly territory, uh, that could definitely make for a big deal. And maybe you want a defensive war so that you can take cities. Finally, their unique improvement is called the Outback Station, and this provides food and production with bonus food for adjacent pastures. In addition, New pastures will trigger a culture bomb. I really like this theme with some of these new civs, these DLC civs, where culture bombs are returning. It's so important in Civ 6, and I thought that was kind of weird that it wasn't in more of the base game because you know, Civ 6 is all about the position and all about what tiles you control because the cities are spread out. So being able to take tiles away from AI at any point is... I think really, really useful, especially obviously on small maps, uh, on island-based maps, which I'm assuming Australia will be playing probably a lot in because they get some pretty awesome bonuses along the coastline. My final thoughts, I think that Australia is an extremely versatile sieve. I really like that they, they have some of these abilities that nobody else so far in the base game have. Uh, you kind of want to play defensively, uh, you kind of want to build along the coastline, you want to keep in mind some of those charming or breathtaking uh, appeal tiles, all very important. I think Australia could be put in a lot of different positions here on the map and still find a way to have success. It's been a while since I've had to do one of these Civilization Strategy Leader Breakdown videos, uh, but I still have the playlist, you can look in the description or I'll put something right here in a card. Um, yeah, I think that I'll probably be doing a lot more, uh, I'm assuming that we'll we'll see, I, I think, a lot more DLC in the future for Civilization 6. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.